In classic big band jazz, the horn section would often play the melody of a song harmonized in four or more parts. This technique of harmonizing a melodic line with full, dense chord voicings is sometimes referred to as using block chords. Wes Montgomery often played block chords in his improvised solos, creating an incredibly exciting finish to a three-tiered solo that started with single note lines and then worked through octaves and finally block chords. Here's a simple G minor line with the notes on the high E string. Essentially G minor arpeggio. And here it is again with block chords harmonizing each note in the line. In this case, the block chords are simply G minor 7 chord inversions. And again, you can choose to pluck the strings for a more traditional sound, or you can use the thumb to brush against the strings like Wes Montgomery would. Here's a G minor line harmonized with a pair of chords, G minor 7 and A minor 7. So now we're actually running up and down the scale and harmonizing the notes of the scale with G minor 7 and A minor 7 chord inversions. This works beautifully because if you were to put the chord tones of these two together, you actually have a G minor Dorian scale. G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, G. In this case, we're just kind of moving up and down the scale.